Mmm, banging. Orange and mango diluting juice. Get on it and thank me later. <coughs> Hi, welcome back. Quarantine serious. Um, we've had a wee change of scenery today. As you can see, we're actually in my bedroom where it all began at this very dressing table. <laughs> week's video we're actually going to do something very different something quite serious I'm actually not like I'm not very good at being serious but this actually is a serious matter try and take me serious as of now oh wait actually I need to mention like people are going to be like what are you trying to be in rob or something I've just been very influenced by her to be honest and I think the whole matching scrunchy situation hold on it's just hella cute, so I thought I'll just buy some off Amazon and I'll wear them. So shout out to Erin MJ Rob. For today's video, we're going to do something really different, something pretty serious. Yeah, right, okay, I'm going to be serious as of now. <clears throat> On a serious note, how many times am I going to say serious to be serious here? At the moment what we're all going through is actually really challenging, really weird and really... Can't think of a third word. Just a very difficult time at the moment, right? I'm actually speechless. I'm never speechless. Hello. Come on, pull it together. Right. I decided today I was going to do a bit more of a serious video. Video. <laughs> Take one thousand. What we're all going through at the moment is a genuinely very scary, very weird, and a very. Oh, fuck! I still can't think of a third word. Basically, right now, life is pretty shit. And I thought it would be good for me to do like a more serious video, video where I'm being really honest with you guys about how I actually am coping and how I'm finding this. I know myself that I'm kind of guilty of looking like up to like bloggers that I follow or like celebrities not call myself a celebrity before we jump to that conclusion. I often look at other people and I think their life's so great, like they aren't struggling right now, like they don't have any worries, they don't feel shit. I just never think, oh actually they're a human too and they're going through this like we're all in this together kind of thing. I just thought it'd be good for me to do a wee video and just be totally honest with you guys about how I'm finding this whole lockdown situation. Just in case anyone else out there is feeling the same, it's just a wee bit of moral support. You know what I'm saying? I popped up a wee Instagram story with a question box in it just for you guys to ask me anything that is quarantine related, anything about lockdown, all that kind of shebang. And I'll just answer it on here. Fancy that. And also, when I am old Granny Meg. Just while we're on the topic of grannies, this was that mad old app that was going about a while ago. And it's that's apparently what I look like when I'm old. Sorry, stop the world, I want off. And I'm trying to tell the grandkids about this. I can just pop this on and be like that. Look, this is how things were. Also quite cool to think my grandkids have looked that in school. My granny was a YouTuber. <laughs> like, I'm hardly like the world's biggest YouTuber, but like maybe one day you know dream big yeah i'll just get right in with the questions the first one how are you doing I'll answer this on like a kind of overall basis like over the past what two months two months is a fucking long time i can't believe it's been two months and i would say i am doing pretty pretty good to be honest like in between fine and good somewhere in between like see before lockdown happened and when there was just like talks of it I was actually shitting myself like I just thought this will be so so difficult for me I never ever spend time myself in my house like for a long period of time like I just never spend time on my own and I'm always out and about doing things but I actually when I look back on it I'm like I've actually been okay like overall I obviously do have my like really shit days just like anyone else does but as a whole I'd say I've actually remained pretty positive I've not felt too down for like any real length of time so I would say I am doing pretty good thanks very much for asking I hope you're doing good too um what are you doing to pass the time I actually am still working I've been working ever since lockdown started like I haven't been what's that word for followed followed 
think you mean furloughed, babe? Yeah, I, I have continued working. Um, I was only working like part-time hours to begin with, but just as of this week, I have been back to working my full time. So I'm Monday to Friday, nine to five. That's where I am majority of the time. Obviously, it's still weird. Like I'm used to coming home and going to Callum's or like seeing the girls, and then obviously my weekends would be like full of plans. So when I'm coming home from work and I have the weekends, what do I do? I actually don't really know. Sometimes I think the days go pretty fast in lockdown and I'm like, what did I even do today? Because I don't watch TV. Literally the only thing I've watched this full two months is season one of Hannah Montana on Disney Plus. You get the best of both worlds. Not joking, don't watch TV. I, d I was trying to read, but I kind of forgot about that. Same with yoga. I really need to do the yoga again because I was really enjoying that. I just totally forgot about it. Uh, going walks. I'm really enjoying going walks. I go like a nice big long walk every day, which has been nice because, see, before lockdown, I didn't like walking. Mm -mm -mm. My PT is always like, oh, I'll do like 10,000 steps a day minimum. And I'm like, <laughs> what? such an effort to me like didn't enjoy it at all whereas now because that's like the only thing you kind of can do I actually really enjoy going nice walks finding new areas around my house like I found like these forests and stuff and I'm like lovely and I tend to go with my dad and wee brother which is nice wee bit of family bonding time are you finding it difficult to pass time no because I am at work I would say if I wasn't working if I'd been uh, followed followed Furloughed. Furloughed, Megan. Furloughed. If I wasn't working, I would say it would be harder to pass the time. But um, I'm still really fucking busy at the moment. I think I'm the only person who's in lockdown and is still very busy. How do you stay positive all of the time? I don't. I absolutely don't. Like, a lot of people message me on Instagram and stuff like, oh my god, you're such a positive person. Like, how are you staying positive through this? Like, give me some advice. I actually don't stay positive all the time. Like, I know when I'm on Instagram and stuff, like, I might seem it, but I'm not going to upload a video of me lying in my bed crying because what benefit would that have to anyone? I obviously just share my good moments but just like everyone else I do have my really shit moments. But I would say though I'm positive more than I am negative. I just try and think of all the th like really special things and people in my life and I just like vision life after this and I'm like oh hell yeah and that just kind of helps to be honest. Also reading quotes on Pinterest I can't recommend that shit enough. I love a quote as we probably all know by this point. I just go on there and I scroll and I'm like oh yes. How many times have you cried? <laughs> so I actually as a human being probably do cry quite a lot. I would say right I have like really like big emotions. See if I'm happy I'm happy. I'm positive, I'm hyper, I'm productive, but if I'm sad, I'm fucking sad. Like, I just cry and I'm angry and I'm snappy and I'm just, like, moody. Callum definitely experiences that the most out of everyone on this world. So, I actually do cry quite a lot. Like, I, I cry pretty easily, but I've not cried as much in lockdown as I would have thought would. See, I probably have one, like, big cry a week, which I think is really important. Like, I don't bottle anything up, but if I feel something, I let it rip. Sometimes I just feel like a big cry just gets it all out of your system. Also, I am I am that person, you know, when you cry and you look in the mirror. I quite like it because your lips go like really big and like voluptuous. Your eyes purely like, glisten and I feel like it makes your skin quite glowy, like the tears. So I just sit like this in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> and then I end up laughing at me crying so it works quite well. Is this having an effect on your mental health? Very luckily I would say no. Um, I honestly thought before it like shit was going to hit the fan and I was really like worried about my mental health. But no I actually have managed to stay pretty positive in a like good mind place, mindset. Um, which I'm really grateful for because... This is a really fucking tough time. I think like it's only natural that this will take a toll on your mental health. I think if this continues for like even longer, then it probably would start to take its toll. <clears throat> God. For the time being, I would say I'm thankfully okay. 
how is things in your house? Well, I like these wee questions because I think it's important to know that probably everyone's going through the same thing. But at the moment things in my house are great. We're actually having a wee family monopoly game night tonight, buzzing. But at the start, like there was quite a lot of arguments, which is totally natural. Like we're all stuck in a really stressful situation in these four walls, like we're gonna get on each other's backs. And my mum and dad both work for the NHS, so I think they probably are just like quite stressed to begin with. Yeah, there was quite a lot of arguments and it was just like having really bad vibes and I was like, fuck this shit, I'm out. But there was nowhere to go, so I was stuck in here and that was shit, I'm not gonna lie, I absolutely hated that. I was like crying so much, I was like, fuck this. But I think it's so important to know that no one's house is perfect, like everyone's gonna be arguing at some point and it's just a really stressful situation. Do you get along with your family? Yes, I do get along with my family really well. Um, the older I've gotten, the more I've gotten along with my family i'm just like extremely grateful for my mum and dad they're such good mum and mums and dads mum and dads mm -mm. i don't know how to say that without it making it sound like i have more than one mum and dad because i definitely only have one mum and dad the older i get the more appreciative i am of them because i just like see the things that they do for me and paul like they are amazing parents i have always gotten on with them obviously we have the odd how safe at each other like when my mum texts me to tell me I didn't wash my cup this morning. Have you gotten closer to your family? Absolutely. Like I have a wee brother, he is 18, his name is Paul. We went quite a few years without actually speaking <laughs> which might sound a bit weird. He was just going through like that grumpy teenager stage as all boys do. I think he just thought I was a total pain in the arse to be honest. So we went a good few years without speaking which I think really upset my mum and dad. Like we didn't dislike each other, we just didn't bother with each other. He's 18 now and I'm 21. We're like similar ages, have like really similar interests and stuff and lockdown has worked wonders for us. Actually very very close and it's really really nice. Um, we like go our wee walks together and stuff and um, we're totally gonna hit up the SWG3 together after this. Yeah, love them. Great, great times. Next wee section is all about boyfriends, relationships, Callum and lockdown. Are you in lockdown with your boyfriend? Nope. I am in lockdown with my family and he is in lockdown with his family. Have you and your boyfriend argued at all? Right, I am going to sound like one crazy psycho bitch but I'll keep it real with you guys and I'll spill the beans. So basically the first like three weeks of lockdown me and Calum were sending like I don't know, six texts a day, like, literally six texts a day, we weren't phoning, we weren't facetiming, we are literally being like, Hi. Hi, how are you? Fine, how are you? Fine, what are you doing? Nothing, what about you? Nothing. And that was it. It was, um, it was really painful conversations, if I'm being totally honest with you. I went on for like a couple of weeks and then my brain just started working like overtime. I was like, oh my god, I was like, we're not meant to be together, we're not meant to be together. It took Corona to realise, but that is it, we're not meant to be together. I text and I was like, Cam, look, we've not been speaking, this isn't working, we need to end things. It was like, whoa, stop the fucking bus, like what is going on here? And I was just like, nah, like this isn't right. Like we should be texting all the time. We should be phoning. We should be missing each other so much. Like this is so wrong. So basically, <laughs> everything went tits up only because of me. I, I will take full blame for this one, to be honest. And I was like, nah, like don't speak to me. So we went on like a break for like two weeks. I just like wasn't texting him, wasn't contacting him. I was just like, can't believe my five year relationship has come to an end because of Corona. Thanks Rona, you cow. Then I just woke up one day and I was like, what the fuck am I doing? I obviously want to be with Calm. Pre-corona I had no issues. I love the bones off him. And I was just like, okay Calm. I think I've made a mistake. So we've made up now, things are a lot better. We're definitely making more effort with each other. But yes, it's fair to say we argued. How often? Do you speak to your boyfriend? So as I was saying there at the start, never. Now, um, we, so this is the thing, right? I've been with Callum for five years and for the past five years, I see him like about four times a week, maybe sometimes more. We don't like often text each other because we're with each other that much that we just chat then. We've never really had to make effort with one another. 
and I think we just found it really hard to adapt to that. I'm not used to texting the boy, like, I just, I'm not used to it. It's really strange for us. So yeah, we don't text, like, back and forth all day because I just... I just can't be bothered, like not in a bad way, but I just can't be bothered to be honest. We'll always like FaceTime like every maybe like two or three days or something and we'll like text in between. We don't really talk excessively, but that's like just kind of like what works for us. Like as long as we know we're both missing each other and we do make some time for each other to like catch up and stuff. I mean, nothing's actually happening at the moment, so there's not a lot to talk about. So conversation runs dry. I've actually noticed this is a problem like loads of people are experiencing. Everyone's just bored and we don't have anything to speak about. How are you coping with not seeing your boyfriend? Um, it's, um, it's hard, like I'm not going to lie, like I think the past, only the past like few weeks I've started to like really struggle with it and I've been quite upset about it and things. Um, oh my god Megan you're not going to cry again on YouTube. <clears throat> yeah it's definitely weird. I think the first kind of few weeks I was doing alright like it was like all a bit like new and confusing and things but the past few weeks like the longer it's gone on I'm just like oh like come on to fuck like this is really really strange and what I would say as well like my like we kind of safe place I call it a hutch and I pretend I'm a rabbit I'm honestly so weird and I'm really exposing too much about myself on this video anyway it's like say like my wee hutch is like in Callum's arms like he like he's a lot bigger than me so like if he hugs me I feel like a wee small rabbit like in a wee hutch and I feel like all safe. If I'm having like a bad day ever, especially when I used to work at BT, oh bad days were every day. I used to just like be really upset and the thing that would like get me through the day was knowing I was going to see Calm and like things would all feel better when he was just like cuddling me and that was like my wee safe place and now I'm like having these shit days and I can't go to my wee hutch. Um, not going to cry, not going to cry, you're not going to cry. Okay, you're going to cry. I'd say now I'm definitely like really, really missing him and struggling, but we're all in the same boat, which I think is the only like comforting thing. Like if you're not isolating with your boyfriend, you're not seeing them and we can all kind of relate to that. But yeah, I am certainly really, really looking forward to the day that I can finally see him and give him a big hug. Have you considered locking down with your boyfriend? Um, honestly, no. Like, that's just not really something we ever thought about or ever talked about. I actually love staying in my house and I really, like, enjoy being with my mum and dad. And if I was to not see my mum and dad for, like, this length of time, I'd, like, really struggle. I absolutely love Carol's family and I'm so, so close to Carol's family and vice versa. But, like, I feel it's just a lot to ask of someone for me to live in their house for, like, God knows how long. It's probably, like, it's not your own house, so you don't really feel, like, as comfortable. Yeah, it's not something we've considered. I think we both are just enjoying staying at our own houses. We both have really good relationship with our families. Um, so, no, I am quite fine staying here, and he is fine staying there. Are you sticking to your healthy diet through this? No, absolutely not. Like, guys, my diet has literally flown out the fucking window. I, I can't, I actually can't tell you how much I'm struggling with it. I can't remember the last day where I ate, like, three real meals. I keep eating, like, one real meal and then just snacking all day or, like, eating something pure strange for dinner. Like, I keep eating toast and jam all the time. It's really, really hard to stick to diet. Uh, I'm also, like, doing a lot of boredom eating as well. But I'm not really being that harsh on myself, which is kind of mental. Like, see, before this, if I had, like, an off day off my diet, I'd be really angry at myself. And I was like, this is a joke. Like, what are you doing? Whereas now I'm actually just going kind of easy on myself. And I'm like, look... There's literally a worldwide pandemic going on at the moment. The last thing we need to be concerned about here is your diet. So I'm just kind of letting myself go wild, to be honest. Are you managing to keep up the home workouts? Again, no. I think I went three weeks there without doing anything. So that was good. This is something I have actually really struggled with. Like, 
before this I got so into the gym I really enjoyed going to the gym I loved like pushing myself I actually enjoyed like weightlifting and stuff and now I'm not doing any of that I've literally all my muscles are gone I have no bum I'm literally a five pound note so that has been rather emotional watching my bum pack its bag and leave I have tried to get back into home workouts Um, I have done them for the past three days now waiting on my medal for that accomplishment how are you coping without seeing your friends? Oh, this for me is just as hard as not seeing Calm. Um, like me and Dean and Erin are so close. Like literally have a bond that I, I imagine sisters would have, but I don't have a sister to compare it to. So that's not a hundred percent accurate. Yeah, I'm really, really struggling without seeing them. Like, oh god, like we we see each other all the time. Like we'd never go like a week without each other. So this is just really, really strange. And also like just like normal life, like shit happens and um, like unfortunate things in life and oh when they're happening to my friends during this time it's just an actual nightmare like normally I could go around and cheer my friends up and you just like make them feel better and stuff and I feel I actually feel like so useless I literally can't do anything to help my friends when they're going through a rubbish situation there's only so many gifts you can drop off at someone's door so I have like really really struggled without them um yeah I just feel I just feel so useless and it's actually so shit. Ugh. Stop it. The really good thing about us though is that we literally speak all day, every day. Like I, I do speak to Nadine and more than I speak to Calm. We FaceTime basically every day as well. Like we are talking to each other all the time and we are going to get to reunite at some point so bring on those days please have you learned anything new in lockdown i don't know if this means like skills or like new about me skills well well i made those cakes so i definitely learned how to bake some good cupcakes i'd say i have really learned how to be more grateful for things like I'd say I've always been quite a grateful person anyway. Like, I don't really take much for granted, but like this has like really, really put things into perspective for me. I'm like, whoa. I actually feel like I have a whole new outlook on life and I'm just looking at situations so differently. So yeah, I'll say like after lockdown, I'm gonna have like a totally different attitude. Like you're just gonna be so grateful for every small thing in life. So I think that's quite nice. What's your plans for after lockdown? I mean, I know things are not going to, we're not just going to wake up one day and be like, yay, life's normal again. Going to take ages to get back to that. But if we're talking when life is officially normal again, Ibiza. I'm hopping on a plane to Ibiza and I'm not coming back. Preferably. I am just so ready to get so drunk, my friends, be in a warm climate, listen to some belting tunes and just boogie the night away. Honest to God, that's all I want. I'm just dying to go on holiday. I'm dying to laugh. I'm dying to dance. I'm dying to whitey my guts up with a hangover. I'm ready for it. Okay, so that is all questions answered. But I hope we enjoyed that one. Um, as I said, that was a wee bit more serious from me, but I just think it's a serious time. It's about time I got serious. But yeah, the fun will resume. The next video is actually going to be my birthday in lockdown. It's my birthday next Sunday, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be an absolute belter. Thanks very much for joining. I hope we're all keeping safe, keeping happy, happy. See you next time. Bye!